Hi right, guys, welcome to uh, Reading Festival 2014. DZ Death Race playing. Would you have ever believed it? Yeah, uh, yeah we played two years ago. So <laughs> it was nice a reality a couple of years ago, but yeah, it's awesome to be back. Cool. Um, how did you guys hook up? Uh, we've known each other since we were in high school. And then, you know, after high school, we started a band together, and that band slowly formed into this band, and yeah, just kept going with it. And the album's uh, out now. What's your expectation on sales in the UK and Europe? Zero. <laughs> we don't ever, you know, it's not about sales, man. It's always just about trying to put out an album that you think is good. Yeah, Getting whether it sells or not, man, it doesn't matter. As long as people are down at shows going crazy, yeah. that's all we care about. And what's your following like in the UK? Uh, it seems to be getting better. Yeah. I don't know. So far it's been pretty good. We've been coming here for about three years now. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's starting to pick up a little bit. It just takes a long time. It's like starting all over again in a new country. Yeah. Are you basing yourselves from Australia or are you constantly on tour? Yeah, we're based in Australia still. Yeah, um, but we are pretty much on tour all the yeah. time. Just and where's the best crowd? I think still in our home, you know, because we've been working it there for like five years and it's just, yeah, it started like there and the second record came out earlier this year and that really, really, really helps with the crowds and everyone's starting to just, you know, go crowd surfing every show and, and stage diving and stuff and it's a lot of fun. Cool. Sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've just completed a tour and you've got a, another mini tour which takes you up to, I think, November, is it, or something like that? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. We've got two weeks off after this and then we start back on again. We've got maybe another 30, 30 or so dates before the year's out. Oh, maybe a bit more, actually. Yeah, 30 or 40. Yeah. And is this is this to promote the album or yeah, just yeah. to build the, the fan base? Yeah, yeah, just, just touring. Yeah, it's just what you got to do if you want to sort of get anywhere, I think, and um, we love touring, so we just try and do it as much as possible. And what's the plans to go back to Australia? Uh, we go back in October. October to do yeah. a tour. That'll be our last kind of tour there, although we got extra shows. Yeah. It doesn't really stop, I guess. Yeah, but we just yeah. keep going. Yeah. And what have you got planned after that? Uh, touring, back, man. Back here yeah. <laughs> in November, so yeah, then I guess Christmas time will be our only time that we may have off. If, but in that time, we'll probably be starting writing our new records. So. And when's that tune? Uh, no idea. When it's no done idea. and it's decent. Yeah, the other one just came out here like on Monday. <laughs> we haven't thought about that yet, man. Got, got some so no long-term strategy then? No. Uh, no. Put out another album. That's pretty much the next. Yeah. Write a real thing. Yeah. That's the next goal. So what do you guys do to chill out? Play shows. <laughs> yeah. Tour. Your life is just full of rock and roll, I guess. It is. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, the ups and downs of rock and roll. Cold beers, live music. <laughs> <laughs> well, being Australian, what's your favourite beer? Favourite beer? Has to, I don't know, I'm going to put it out. My favourite tasting beer is, uh, is, is a beer called Three Sheets um, from Sydney. And then my favourite beer, just for aesthetic reasons and also... <laughs> Image reasons and taste, it's quite good. It's Victoria Bitter. It's an all around of VB. It's great. <laughs> Does everything it you want. It looks like a hand grenade as well. So. It makes you look like trash. It's cheap. It's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like heaven. Yeah. So, uh, what, what's been your influences for the album? Um, I mean, we kind of came off touring in 2012 and I think touring with a lot of different bands over that time. Like we did a couple of tours with Blood Red Shoes and uh, shows of Band of Skulls and you know, we did shows of Foo Fighters and stuff like that. And when you do those shows, they, like, those big shows really influence, I guess, the way that you might write some songs after that. But um, in terms of actual other bands that I was listening to when we were writing the record, I was listening to a lot of Hot Snakes. And um, yeah, they were like a really big influence on this on this latest record. Yeah. Um, what do you think is going to influence the next one then? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Anything from Reading? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. See what, see we what, always see loved what? Pulled Apart by Horses. We yeah. still do. Those guys always influence us. Yeah. Maybe some electronic stuff, you know. Been listening to a lot of Danny Brown. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe maybe that'll influence us. We get some, some uh, electronic rap in there. <laughs> I don't think so, but we'll, we'll see. So, what are you guys going to do the rest of the day? 
Uh, I think the plan is just drink beers and mingle, walk around, see bands. Drive to and Leeds. Drive to Leeds, yeah. Playing there in the morning. Well, good luck with that, guys. Right. Thanks for your time. Good luck with the album. Thank you. Cheers. Alright, thanks. Cheers.